there's this idea in Christianity, and it is that all human beings are basically with sin. We are, we're all sinful in some way or another. We all fall short of the mark. We all miss God's glory in some sense. And I firmly believe that, that that's a valid thing to say. I believe that all of us fall short of God's glory. Um, and that's why today I wanted to talk on the subject of Broken on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt, and today is Friday, the 14th of January, 2022. Uh, welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble, on the podcast, on YouTube, on BitChute, on CloudHub, on Minds.com, that's M-I-N-D-S.com, if you happen to be catching me there. Uh, wherever you happen to be catching me today, welcome aboard. Uh, right at the moment, Rumble is my preferred platform. It's where I would prefer that people watch me. But then again, I ra realize that people watch me other places, and that's fine too. Uh, subject for today is broken. That's what we're going to be talking about. And I'm going to go ahead and go through my notes to kind of give you an idea where I'm coming from today. And then we'll get into more open discussion as time goes on. Are people broken in that they ha may have urges towards things like homosexuality, pedophilia or, pedophilia, or even serial murder? Are they? I can't say for sure. I know my own brokenness exists. I know it exists in various forms, right? Um, are those quite so, uh, uh, severe proclivities uh, there as some sort of natural or even unnatural brokenness? I think the answer to that is yes. I can't say for sure, but that's my thought on it. You, you could show me how I'm wrong, and I would maybe be willing to accept that I'm mistaken on that, but that's how I see things at this point. One thing I want to be quite clear on, though, as I say, I have my own issues, and I fight with them each day. That doesn't mean I always succeed, but I'm acutely aware they're bad. Brokenness doesn't mean good, typically. It means something is, is wrong, okay? This is the distinction that I see as often missing in the modern day. It seems to me that folks are willing, even desirous, to normalize the problematic. If you say a person has an attraction to children in a less than wholesome fashion, the question you should probably ask next is, is that a good or bad thing? In my way of looking at things, I must see it as bad. I have to. I have no choice in that matter. Um, I don't think adults, even considering relations with children that don't involve parenting or friendship in the most basic sense, and maybe a few other ways, is a good thing. I just don't think so. It's certainly not appropriate for pretty much anybody to uh, to be counting, uh, uh, even thinking about children in a sexual way as proper. That's certainly not a good thing. For my part, though there's an argument for consensual behavior, I believe the same to be true of homosexual activity, right? And by the way, I'll argue that that's also true for transgenderism and things of that sort. That's because, as a Christian, I believe God abhors, ab abhors that type of thing. It's not mine to judge, it's his, but I believe his judgment is that that sort of thing is bad. I don't believe the, quote, answer to, quote, either the, of the aforementioned, or any of the aforementioned, if you will, uh, uh, or most other behaviors with which I disagree, is legal in nature. I don't believe it's a legal answer. That's not to say the state doesn't have a have the right and one might argue a responsibility to outlaw things like child pornography, statutory rape, and other such bad behaviors. What I'm trying to get to here is this. It must be true that people look at certain behaviors as improper, whether that's immoral or illogical or whatever. It doesn't matter which of those you choose. You wouldn't count it reasonable for somebody to walk up to another individual and beat them without cause. You just wouldn't. That's not something you would count reasonable. It's even more invasive and impro improper for a grown adult or even another child, frankly, to sexually abuse really anybody, but even more so a minor. The extended point would be if the act is improper, so is the thought or desire. Are people broken and desiring to do such things? Maybe so. Does it make, uh, uh, does that in any sense, uh, make their being so a good thing? 
I would contend that it does not. Okay, I'm done with my notes. So uh, this is another mic drop, isn't it? Right? I don't really need to say much more about this. First of all, it's obviously all about um, how people look at things, in a sense. But what you need to understand is that there are a bunch of people out there who are Christians. And Christianity says that certain behaviors, certain attitudes, certain perspectives are broken. Does Kurt possess certain of those behaviors, those attitudes, and so forth? Absolutely. Absolutely. I absolutely do. There's no question, there's no doubt that that's true. And I'm not trying to say, oh, it's okay in me any more than it's okay in anybody else. Those things are bad in me just like they are in anybody else. But the point that I'm making is not that uh, I don't possess these things. It's that I battle on a moment-by-moment -moment basis with those things, and I try very hard to make it my business to not be overtaken by them. Okay? doesn't mean I succeed all the time, but I always try. And the first thing that I would say about anybody who, say, for example, is a child predator, is that person is either not trying or failing badly. Now, what needs to be done about that? I'm not even sure I know. Obviously, the first thing is you ought to be praying for those people because their brokenness is bad and it's hurting other people, right? So you need to, you ought to be praying for those folks. Should they go to jail? Well, I'm not really the person to say that. I'm not saying that, again, the state doesn't have the right and maybe the responsibility to put them in incarceration if they choose to, to act out on that brokenness. I've heard people say recently that uh, they would, they not quite hate people, maybe even hate people who are broken in those ways. That is in the way that they believe or that they count those things good, exciting, interesting things. Uh, I would say that my attitude about that is how they act is the fine is the brokenness that matters in that particular instance again am i trying to say that they're being broken that they're that they're having problems that they're you know being messed up in that way is a good thing no i'm not trying to say that i'm simply trying to say that if i have the desire to kill somebody and i hold myself back and i don't do it i didn't kill somebody I may have desired it, I may have wanted to do it, but I didn't. Now I don't have that desire. There are times when I truly feel like I want to kick somebody in the rear end or or poke somebody in the nose, right? But I, I don't do it. I don't do it. And I realize that that violence that I would perpetrate on others is brokenness on my part, and I have to fight against it, just like I have to fight against bumpering up on some people who get in front of me to drive slower than me and things like that, right? I have to fight it. Does it seem like I should have the right to be upset about that? Well, maybe so, but the reality is I should not be acting badly as a result regardless whether or not I have the right to be angry about it, okay? Do we have the right to incarcerate people who choose to prey on, uh, on, on children in a sexual fashion? Well, I would say society does. Whether or not I personally do is another matter, and I, I get into that in other videos that I've done, and probably others that I'll do in future. But the point is, I certainly would say that society has the right to incarcerate or otherwise attempt to rehabilitate or punish people who choose to uh, act in sex sexually deviant ways with children. I, I certainly believe that. But my point is to say this. To say that a person is broken and that they like the idea of sexual relations with children, you're right to say that they're broken. To say that they should be punished for the idea as opposed to following through on it, that's another thing entirely and I'll have to disagree with you on that. Now, they should be battling that on a day-to-day -day basis. They should be knowing that that thing is wrong and people shouldn't try and normalize it, which is the problem, the major problem that I see at this, this point is that people are trying to normalize that. But that's kind of where I stand on all of this. And so that's kind of why I wanted to talk on the subject of Broken today on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. And today is Friday, the 14th of January of 2022. In case I said 2021 earlier on, forgive me. Um, that means that it's the beginning of the Sabbath at the 
end of the day at sunset today, sundown, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for those of you observing the Sabbath, hope your Sabbath is a good one. Tomorrow is Saturday, the 15th of January of 2022, and the remainder of that Sabbath day until sundown on Saturday. So again, if you're observing it, I hope it is a good one for you. Uh, thank you for everyone coming on on Rumble, on the podcast, on YouTube, on BitChute, on CloudHub, on Minds, M-I-N-D-S dot com, if you happen to find me there. Subject for today has been broken. Oh, well, I'll do that in a sec. Tomorrow's subject will be progeny and gainfulness. I think I need to discuss this because it's something that I've had to spend some time talking to my son about, and I think other people need to understand it as well. I wanted to say that if you happen to be uh, catching me wherever, uh, Rumble is my preferred platform. You can give me a boxing glove, which is a Rumble on Rumble. If you want to do that, you can give me a plus or a minus. That is a uh, like or a dislike, essentially, on Rumble, and or a like or dislike on any other platform where you catch me. Uh, if you have the ability to comment, you can definitely comment on whatever I put wherever I put it. If I am able to see your comments, and particularly if I'm notified of them, I will do my best to look at them. I will do my best to consider them, and I will uh, reply to your comments if I A, can, and B, feel that it's a needful thing to do that. Hope that you're doing well today. Hope that things are going well for you. And hopefully we will see you again on Saturday's edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video was recorded on Friday the 14th of January of 2022. Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at KP Schubert. That's at K-P-S-H-U-B-E-R-T. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurtz Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurtz Religion and Politics as well. I, have, I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurtz Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the daily summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.